The radial nerve is the largest branch of the brachial plexus, arising from the posterior cord. Its descent begins posterior to the brachial artery, eventually moving lateral to it lower down the humerus. It then moves to behind the humerus with the profunda brachial artery at a site called the triangular interval, which is bounded superiorly by the teres major, laterally by the humerus, and inferiorly by the long head of the triceps. Behind the humerus, the nerve spirals obliquely downwards. The branches supplying the three heads of the tricep are given off near the radial nerve's origin in the axilla and travel along with the main nerve to this region to innervate the tricep muscles. A quick reminder that the nerve at this point is in the posterior compartment of the arm, which is separated from the anterior compartment where the biceps are by the lateral intermuscular septum. On reaching the lateral side of the humerus, the nerve pierces the lateral intermuscular septum into the anterior compartment. The posterior and the lower lateral cutaneous branches branch off in the posterior compartment to innervate the dorsal surface of the arm. The posterior antibrachial cutaneous branch is also given off, which travels in the posterior compartment of the forearm, giving sensory innervation to the dorsum of the forearm and the wrist. Another note, the lower lateral cutaneous branch is actually different to the lateral cutaneous branch, which is actually a branch of the musculocutaneous nerve. At the level of the elbow, the nerve lies in a deep groove between the brachialis medially with the extensor carpi radialis and brachioradialis laterally. Around three finger breadths proximal to the lateral epicondyle, a branch runs off to supply the brachioradialis. Another branch branches off slightly distally to the extensor carpi radialis. Lower down at the site of the lateral epicondyle, the radial nerve divides into the posterior interosseous nerve and the superficial radial nerve. The posterior interosseous nerve reaches the back of the forearm by passing around the lateral aspect of the radius deep into the posterior compartment of the forearm. This is a motor nerve that supplies the muscles in the posterior compartment, such as the extensor carpi radialis brevis, the supinator, the extensor carpi ulnaris, the extensor digitorum, the extensor digiti minimi, the abductor pollicis longus, the extensor pollicis longus, the extensor pollicis brevis, and the extensor indices. Meanwhile, the superficial radial branch continues to descend anterolaterally in the forearm, lateral to the radial artery, and deep to the brachioradialis. This is until it deviates laterally at around 7 cm proximal to the wrist and runs over the anatomical snuff box to supply the dorsum of the hand, specifically the radial part of the dorsum of the hand as well as the radial 3.5 digits up to the proximal interphalangeal joints.